the one thing that when surveying for glowworm larval on this path over enough time you do see a range of invertebrates and this little chap was just scurrying across the path here this is one of the pool beetles this in particular is the largest it's burrus pilula if i remember right and i'll show you the reason why they're called pill beetles in a minute but they're not particularly attractive they're well marked and one species in particular does have a glossy colorful metallic sheen that's Cytillus cerisius or something if i remember correctly but don't quote me on that but pill beetles are lovely not something that i find every day but i've had a number of records on this path over the years I don't know how well you'll get to see this. This is the top side of the beetle. But on disturbance or discovery, they have this fabulous ability to retract all their legs tightly in grooves on the underside of the body. And that way, a predator can't grab hold of them. So they become totally sort of ovoid, as you can see there. Another useful reason for this is that by assuming this posture, with drawing all the legs, and there are some other beetles that do this, they can just drop into vegetation, never to be found again. So that's Burrus pylula, one of the pill beetles that we have here in Nottinghamshire and in particular the Sherwood Forest area. Not a common find, but quite remarkable for retracting all the appendages, the legs and the antenna. Remarkable, isn't it? <laughs> 